tax collectors and sinners. But Jesus heard this. He said to them, those who are well have no need of a physician, but only those who are sick. I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. Tax collectors and sinners were regarded as one and the same in biblical times. There are numerous stories like that in the Bible. One time, the enemies of Jesus tried to humiliate him by saying, Look, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Still another time, when the parables of Jesus was introduced by the words, Now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to him. Many scholars have studied the role of the tax collector and those who collected money for various purposes in the ancient world. As Noah Hunter put it, all the descriptions run in the same consistent direction, that is, that the office of tax collector or money changer was often held in disrepute. Those office holders were frequently viewed as dishonest and greedy. Earlier, Paul L. Mayer wrote that the reputation of a money changer or tax collector was an unsavory one. As Halstrom summed up his research, negative evaluations of money changers or tax collectors frequently related to their character, being criticized as greedy, corrupt, or generally occupying a trade of disrepute. All the historical references studied by modern-day scholars conclude that tax collectors and money changers were not the sort of man you would want your daughter to marry. But, and here's the interesting piece of this investigation, Jesus welcomed tax collectors just like he welcomed all other sinners. Listen to this account about Jesus during the end of his life. He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray. You want to say, that is, a religious leader. The other, a tax collector. The Pharisee stood on my himself was praying thus. God, I thank you that I am not like other people. Thieves, rogues, workers, and even like this tax collector. I pass twice a week. I give a tenth of my income. But the tax collector standing there will not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other, for all who exalt themselves will be humble, 